What's up guys, Ryan here. So I have a new skill with me that's a little bit different than the, all the other smart skills that we're used to see. With things, I've been trying to push the boundaries of what's possible with skills. And today they've released their new uh, body comp smart skill. There are a few great things about this skill that I was actually really excited to try out. But there's also this one thing that I'm not so sure about. It's probably not what you think, but design wise, I must say, I've always been a fan of Withing skills. This skill is also pretty sleek and chic, whether you put it in your bathroom or bedroom, it's gonna look nice. There's this half glass, half plastic material that's used in the making of it, so the quality feels good, but you better not drop anything on that glass. And of course, there's an LCD display that shows you everything you need to know on the spot as well, that I'll get to in a minute. And one very good feature of this scale is that it comes with carpet feet. We're usually not supposed to use uh, scales on carpets or rugs. With this scale, that's possible and it shouldn't affect the accuracy. Although I personally didn't use it on a carpet, but the nice thing about this scale is that it just uses AAA batteries. It has four of them and the battery life, depending on how often you use it, of course, can be up to 18 months. So one of the features of this scale is that it can measure a complete body composition. So basically it can break down your body weight into muscle mass, fat mass, bone mass, and even water mass. And to be clear, this is not a breakthrough in science, but there are a few methods of measuring these metrics. One of them is called a bioimpedance analysis that we see in many devices, which simply uses a single electrical current to measure the reaction or response from different components of your body weight, like fat cells, etc., to this electric current. But the problem with this method is that it, it's kind of limited to certain parts of your body. But this scale uses another more precise method, which is still bioimpedance analysis or BIA in short, but instead it uses more than one frequency, which makes it a multi-frequency BIA. This means you can now more precisely measure the entire body composition. Okay, that's all nice and dandy, but does it actually work? Well, the way I would answer that question is in terms of consistency of the results more than anything else. And that goes for everything, the actual weight measurement, body composition, and other features. But in the case of body composition, there are two ways of measuring its consistency. First one is to try it on several times in a row and see how the results differ each time. And the second one is that to do the actual measurement uh, for more than a day and around the same time. And obviously I did both and I was impressed by the consistency of the results. And so I wouldn't worry too much about the accuracy of the numbers because this is still not a medical device, although it's pretty close to one. But when it comes to consistency, I'll give it a pass. But when you stand on the scale, it shows you the weight and also a graph that shows uh, the change over time, uh, then the body weight composition in percentage. So your muscle mass, uh, fat mass, uh, water mass, and also bone mass. Then it measures your standing heart rate, your electrodermal activity, pulse wave velocity, and your vascular age, uh, which I'll get to in a sec. But I'm not done with the body composition yet. So before I keep going, I have a question for you. Do you know what these are? Well, this is a pair of fat calipers and usually bodybuilders use them to measure the level of fat and you could also use them on different parts of the body. But usually one of the most uh, common places to measure is around the belly. However, there are different types of fat and one of those is called visceral fat, which is the fat deep inside the belly that can be associated with chronic health issues and can only be measured precisely using a CT scan or an MRI. The other common way to make an estimate of this fat is to calculate it based on the total body fat. But since this scale can measure your body fat, it can also uh, calculate your visceral fat. And that's way more accurate than using calipers or a tape measure to then guesstimate the percentage of uh, visceral fat. And this scale simply tells you uh, whether uh, the percentage of your visceral fat is healthy or not. But this scale also has a set of features that can help assess your overall uh, cardiovascular health. These include standing heart rate, vascular age, electrodermal activity score, and pulse wave velocity. Now, I know these all sound like a mouthful, but they all serve a purpose. So, for example, the vascular age is one of the most important health biomarkers. And when assessed, uh, if this vascular age is much more than your actual age, then the risk of having some kind of a vascular or a heart disease later on in life increases. And I think this is a very intriguing feature. At least uh, when I heard about this feature, I was really intrigued. And the way it works is that it gives you a range, for example, 20 to 30 years old. And then over time, you're gonna get a trend of your uh, vascular age, and it can be optimal, which means your vascular age is lower than your actual age compared to 90% of other Withings users. It can also be normal or not optimal. But you can always see how long-term changes in your lifestyle affect this index. 
Just bear in mind that this is not an absolute number and it's only based on other Withings users. Unfortunately though, this feature is only available in Europe currently. Pulse wave velocity is another related feature uh, that again, you can see a trend over time and how your lifestyle affects it. And the other cool feature, which I mentioned before, uh, is the electrodermal activity score. It can also be not normal or not normal. And since this number can fluctuate on a daily basis, you'll get a final score after about three weeks. Oh, and by the way, when you step on the scale, in addition to those health metrics, it also shows you the weather and even the air quality, which is nice. But the app is also pretty good. And if you don't have other Withings trackers, you can link it with some other apps like uh, Samsung Health and also Google Fit and even Strava. And I've actually linked Strava to Withings, which itself is linked to my Garmin watch. Another kind of cool thing is that there can be up to eight people who use this app and they don't even need to have the app. Instead, you can just create multiple profiles for them. Uh, and what's even cooler is that uh, if there is a clear difference between different users' weight, then the scale will automatically recognize who's standing on the scale. Uh, but you can also select a different person by just leaning on the side to scroll through different users. But the coolest thing that beats everything else is seeing you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. So on their website, it says that there was a baby mode and athlete mode available on the app, but I couldn't find the baby mode. I can only see the athlete mode, uh, which is for those who work out more than eight hours a week and have a resting heart rate below 60 BPM. Overall, I've been really happy with this skill so far, even though uh, there have been a few times that the skill wouldn't read my heart rate or any other metrics except my weight and body composition. And I found out that uh, it's always a good idea to not be barefoot for about 10 minutes uh, before uh, the measurement so that there is a slight amount of sweat and the soles of your feet. Or you can also try weighing yourself right after a warm shower to improve the accuracy of the readings. But here's what threw me off a little, and it's something that I'm not happy to see, and that's their new Health Plus subscription service. Now, I'm not against these subscription services in their entirety, because it depends on what you're getting out of, out of that. But still, Withings was one of the few remaining brands that didn't have this kind of subscription service. And as soon as I heard about it, I was like, here we go again. Another brand with health gadgets that joins the bandwagon of those with a monthly subscription fee. In my opinion, and please let me know if you agree with me, when you pay for a device, you should get all the companion software features related to your data as part of it, unless there is some kind of extra content like videos, articles, uh, socializing with others, and so on. In the case of Withings, they say with the Health Plus, you get an electrodermal activity assessment, and if you don't use the Health Plus, then the other features like the electrodermal activity score, vascular age, and standing heart rate will only be available in their freemium version. But that's not very clear what it means, is it? And the worst part is that when you buy this skill, whether you like it or not, you will have free access to the Health Plus for a year, so it might be hard to know what exactly it is that won't be available to you should you decide not to continue your subscription, uh, which by the way has no pricing yet. So you don't even know how much it's gonna cost. Now of course this is a temporary thing and they'll release their pricing at some point, but for now it's obvious they haven't decided how much they should charge. Yes, there are these programs and habit builders as part of the Health Plus, which are mostly made of different articles, but it's just not transparent enough in terms of what exactly it is that you're not gonna get without the Health Plus and how much it's gonna cost if you want to continue your subscription after one year. But if you're okay with health gadgets, with additional subscription services, you might also like this video.